So we, we have been trying all kinds of different methods for uh, removing uh, a rhino lining style substance from, from a vehicle and, and stumbled on a, an old house trick that I uh, used to use. Uh, this is the product. This is gold when trying to remove uh, apparently uh, paints and uh, rhino lining from vehicles. All right, what we're doing today is, is stripping the uh the underside of the GTO. You can see we've already put the stripper on it and a lot of this you put it on good and heavy. A lot of spots I didn't put it on quite heavy enough but the stuff will just flake off of the car. You get down in here in the trans tunnel where it's nice and smooth and a big portion of this will just peel right off for you. And you've got a nice a nice clean surface to start with other than having you know, I don't know what this undercoating and stuff is that they used on it, but it's a, uh, it feels off pretty easy. And you're right down to the metal, and you can start scuffing it down and getting ready to put your uh, epoxy on it, prime it, and you're basically almost ready to paint it. You put that under, under hood black on it. And man, this car looks beautiful on the bottom once you get all the lines hung and everything under it. We use, depending on what type of lines, it really brightens up the bottom. Pretty good, huh? Uh, darn plastic. Yeah. You can get it to stick up there. Yeah. I mean, I'll even have to cover this crud up. But you know what? It works so well with the cover. I hate to change anything. So Kevin has applied in here in the wheelhouses the citrus strip. So he's got them in the wheelhouses, he's doing that, and all this stuff is just practically falling off. Probably one more apply, and it's pretty much gone. It's just pretty much flaking off at this point, just falling off. So Citrus Strip does take Rhino Liner off. This is living proof right here, and we'll be done in no time. Bob painted, we'll be back in the business. Yeah. Now after this is done, we're going to water it down, clean it up, neutralize it. After we're done doing that, we're going to DA it, zinc chromate it, and then go right to base coat clear. Who's rummaging in these things? Because whoever's been in our dens is switching the bolts out. And then Got to turn the music down, have YouTube going. We usually stream a bunch of concerts, albums, all kinds of stuff here, uh, just to pass the time as we work on client cars. It's 100 degrees and 65% humidity in the shop right now in the shade with the fan going, so it's not too bad. As long as we keep hydrated, take our electrolytes, we're good. Our Brondo. Yeah, we'll take our Brondo. 
you just want to tint this over a little bit and you put that much oh, I love what you do to me need to take two of this guys hi everybody here's Earl yeah, okay take two Hey everybody, I um, want to show you something pretty interesting. It's been in the news and uh, it's affecting us, but it's not affecting us. It's the normal occurrence that happens off, the, off of Africa and it's carried by the jet stream and it made it here. It's really interesting. Take a look. Okay, above me, if you look, it's supposed to be a nice blue sky, and my hand is not burning. Actually, I'm not burning. Um, it's the dust in the air that's up in the higher altitude that's actually shielding some of it from coming down. It's weird. It's almost like a solar eclipse. Interesting. Wednesday. You're seeing this video on Thursday. I'm sorry. Uh, we're a day late and dollar short. I have been busting butt and but busting butt. <laughs> Nothing. It's the heat. It's getting to me, man. That's all. Hold on. Take two. <laughs> Fun with Bondo. Whoa. I'm skim coating. Building down. I hate freaking building down, but the doors, not the rock group, these doors, Eleanor's doors, they need a tiny skim coat to get all the whoop de doos The doors are better than they ever were, but they're never going to be where we want them unless we reskin them, and that's the way it needs to be. On a budget, mm, -mm. So, uh, we're just leveling with some platinum. I forget the platinum on. I'm going to 2K them. And I might even paint them and cook them out in the sun and let that stuff shrink wrap itself so I can go in and block them one more time because to paint it twice you make it really nice and that's what I want. So I wanted to give you an update on that. Everything's pretty cool. Yes, it's cooking hot. Yes, we stay isolated in the shop. All that crap going on in the world has nothing to do with us here. We just work hard and try to get a nice product out. All right, everyone, that's going to about wrap this video up. I wanted to show you some highlights of what's going on here. It's been god awful hot, uh, and we've been booking on this car pretty well. And Lee just left, and it's the end of another Wednesday here. You're seeing this video on Thursday. So uh, we're going to wrap it up. We will see you in the next vlog. Everyone, take care. Thank you for checking in, subscribing, and all the good stuff. We will try and get you less garbage videos as soon as we can. Take care.